All right, so in this series of tutorials, what we want to do is look at how to make this uh, PowerPoint folder, and then we'll look at ways that we could possibly use that in an e-learning course. So this is all done in PowerPoint, and this is really pretty simple. It's just three PowerPoint shapes. So you've got this outer shape here, you've got this um, inside shape, and then you've got your tab shape. And so when you put them all together, it looks like a folder. So let's go ahead and get started with this. We're going to start with a blank slide. And what I want to do is use this um, rounded tool here where the object is flat on the bottom and rounded on top. And we'll just square these up a little. So this is going to be our outer shape. And um, what I want is I want a gradient fill that it's light on top and dark on the bottom. So we're going to use the gradient fill tool here. And um, well, I already have that preset, but basically it's a two-stop gradient fill. So let's turn the color off, the line color, so that we don't want a line on there. And when we actually look at the gradient fill on it, you see there's two stops. So it's going to be a lighter blue to a darker blue. And I'm going to use PowerPoint's default design colors because you'll see how that works in one of the other tutorials. So we've got a lighter to darker. Now we're just going to hit Control and duplicate this and just move it up. And this will be our inside panel. So we'll make it a little smaller here. So we've got a little smaller and we'll just set it here. And we want to put it behind. Um, before we put it behind the front panel, what we want to do is uh, swap the color. So we actually want the darker up on top. So that'll create that distinction. So what we can do is uh, just change our stop colors or you can manually change your uh, your gradient color. So we're going to move one down and then we're going to move two up and then uh, now let's move this to the back. And now let's move to the back. So now you can see uh, there's some distinction here. We'll nudge this over a little. So there's our uh, folder, front folder, back folder. And then what we want to do is have a little bit of darkness uh, to separate them and we can just change the gradient. So if we go back to this gradient and move it out, we actually want this bottom part to be dark. So I'm going to change the one stop to a darker blue. So now it's darker, but it doesn't peek through up here. And the reason is when you're working with gradients and you only have two colors and they're equally distributed, what's going to happen is it's going to equally spread those colors through the entire shape. So if we make the shape smaller, you can see now it starts to allow this darker color to bleed through. We'll make it a nudge smaller here. And we'll just go ahead and move this back here. Now we've got this tab. The only thing with the tab now is that because we scaled it, let's move this up here. Because we scaled it, we lost the rounding of the rectangle. So we're just going to have to manually uh, change that. So now if we come back out here, we've got our tab. Uh, so we've got our front We've got our back. What we need to do is just go ahead and create another tab. We'll just hit Control and we'll move that up. And that's our, this is going to be our tab that we have on the envelope or on the thing here. We're going to nudge this up. Now what we want this tab to do is we want this to be the same color as the very top of that. So let's, let's zoom in here. And um, we can just make this a, um, the same color here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this color, actually make it this color. We'll send this to the back and we can make that a little smaller. Here, let's do that. And we'll send this to the back here. And then you could see it. It blends in. You could, you know, play with the colors a little better, but it looks okay for the demo here. So let's reset this. So now we've got our tab. We can make this a little bigger. So we've got our tab and we've got um, the front and back. Now what we want to do is create a sense of perspective. So we just click on this here. We go to the rotation tool. There's some presets for perspective. We're just going to choose the down one. And so now it looks like it's shifted. If you want to, you could uh, change the perspective a little, make it a little bit more dramatic. And oops, yeah, let's do this. And then we're going to nudge this down a little and you've got your envelope or your folder icon. And then in the next tutorial what we'll do is look at how uh, to add some shadows to that and how we might want to use that in a course.